Welcome to the Great Exodus series, God's plan of rescue for his children. Let my people go, the path to Mount Zion. My name is Michael, I'm the founder of Triple Grace and the Righteous Path Movement Foundation, and the author of the Book of Love. This book you can pick up at Amazon.com. Get your copy. It is the standard literature of Triple Grace. Today, my beloved follower of the past, my daily sacrifices, my kind Rosarians, today our topic is no tithing, but sharing resources. What do I mean by that? People are always called for us to tithe, 10% or something for the church. They are called for us everywhere because the church are saying this is biblical. But what we see in the book of Acts is not tithing. What we see in the book of Acts is an act of love and kindness that come from the heart, where the people were sharing their resources with one another. And by doing so, they show forth the love for one another. They sold the excess, they sold land, houses, whatever they had, and gave the money and laid it at the feet of the apostles. So then this, so that the community then could give to anybody who has need. This is true giving. It's not tithing, not something that we have to say, oh, we have to give 10% or 15%, something like this. No. We should share our resources. Whoever has access comes and gives the access. Whoever has nothing receives from the access, so that everybody is on the same level. And this is an essential part in our societies of the rose. I hope you have watched the last two videos on the Great Exodus series. They are all about societies of the rose and coming together in love, unity and support. And that this is a time now to come forth, because calamities and disasters will strike very soon. And when we have problems, then the people will cry, oh, where is the help? And the governmental agencies, they will not be able to help you. And so are the churches, because they will also be destroyed. Now the only thing that counts if you are a member in a loving community of 50 other people who are all followers of the past, because not all will be affected. And even if all will be affected in one society of the rose, then there are other societies of the rose worldwide, or even in your neighborhood, in your area, who are not affected. And they will come forth and help you and share resources and lift you up again. So that there will be no fear for the future within you. And you can concentrate fully on your work. And what is your work? Your work is to win souls. Because you are not working anymore in the beast system for money. Now you start to work in the heavenly kingdom system. And this, the only good that is there is a soul. So you are winning souls. That is your destiny and your purpose in our Lord Jesus Christ. That's the reason why he has told his people, go out into the nations and make disciples, winning souls. And the society of the rose will win souls every day. They will come together every day. They will shine forth their light into their neighborhoods every day. They will be set apart from the world and from Babylon. And everybody will recognize them as something special. Not special in the worldly way. We are not looking for honors. We are not looking for names. We are not looking for titles. What we are looking for is to win souls. And to be set apart from the lukewarm churches. To let our spirit and truth shine forth into the neighborhood. To bring forth the love of the Father for all to see. And this you will not get through tithing, but this you will get if you learn to share resources. Resources, that's money, that is, for example, you can share a car, you can share your home, you can share any other of your properties. Sharing resources is a must in the future, because when we go through the sealed tribulations, we all will be affected. The whole world will be affected. So the only way to survive that is to come together in love, unity and support. And that's the reason why the Lord is 
coming so hard for me and say, Lord, tell the people that I must come together now because the seals will be opened right now. This, there's no other day. There's no other day. The time has come. Now bring forth the societies of the rose. Everybody can stay or start one in his neighborhood. Gather the people together. Get them empowered in your meetings every day and then send them out in the neighborhood to let their light shine and to win in souls. And if you have more than 50 people in your society, establish another one and another one and another one. Let it be millions over millions of societies of the rose in the whole world. Then millions over millions of people will show forth the love of the Father and will win souls. And in this way, we will get together the multitude closed and white that will stand at the sixth seal, the base of Mount Zion. And there we will all be ruptured into paradise because we have made our dirty garments clean in the blood of the Lamb during the seal tribulations. So now, brothers and sisters, I'm calling you forth now to come together, build the societies of the rose. I have a whole playlist about societies of the rose. I will put a link in the first pink comment. Watch it, get an understanding, and if you have questions, then come to me at our ministry email, triplegrace55 at gmail.com, and ask your questions. But bring forth the societies of the rose, the assemblies of love and righteousness, where the Father and our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ can put you under his wings and can protect you because you are being set apart from the world and from Babylon and you are outside of the world and you do the heavenly work and as one of the rewards will be a protection that the Lord will give you and he will also send millions of angels to surround your societies of the rose so that nothing bad can harm you. Blessings will follow. You will walk a path to Mount Zion with wonders and miracles, the same way as the first early Christians did in the book of Acts. This will be the restoration of the altar to its former glory, through the spirit of Elijah and through the spirit of Moses. Now come together. Do not think about tithing, but learn how to share resources. Do not be afraid to sell your excess and then bring it forth to the ministry so that new societies of the rose can be established, that people in need can be helped. Bring all the excess together in the name of the Lord and in the name of our Abba Father, of God Jehovah, the only living God. So please, let us come together in love, unity and support. This is the time. Very soon calamities and disasters will strike and then we have to be together. Watch the other videos where I explain what will happen in a case of a disaster, how advantages, how advantage it will be to be in a society of the rose. And what kind of advantages are there? You can also see on our website triple-grace.com where we have a whole site dedicated to the societies of the rose and there we have listed all the advantages go and watch them i put a link in the first pin comment too now is the time to step forward now is the time to come together because if you're not prepared then you will stand alone in a disaster and when you stand alone you will die and then we have only until the year the end of 21 before the mark of the beast will be introduced. And until then, we have to have established all the societies of the rose and have to gather the people out of the world. This is two years, two full years we have now. So join our ministry and bring forth the societies of the rose in your neighborhood. Become an elder, a state leader, a national leader. The link is also in the description box below. Follow the link, become one, sign up. Step forward now. Step forward and be part, be a follower of the path to Mount Zion. This is your path to the rapture. This is your path to eternal life. This is the path that Jesus has told you to walk. And this is the path where you will take your cross. This is also the path where miracles and wonders will follow. 
This is a straight, narrow and middle path. So come together in love, unity and support. Do not ties, do not do charity to some obscure charitable organization. Come together, share resources. Do as the people have done in the book of Acts. I know it is difficult for, for our time now, where we were trained only to look after ourselves and forget about our neighbors, and where we are trained to be egoistic and keep our money for ourselves and never to share resources. But we have to learn that again. That is part of the restoration of the altar, to learn how to share resources and how to support one another and how to show forth the love of the Father into the neighborhoods. So do it with us together. If you have questions, ask. If you step right away, start your Society of the Rose in your neighborhood. Gather the people together. If you do not know how to do it, ask me. Or go to the website, triple-grace.com. There is also all the resources how to start with Triple Grace. Everything is there. Just have a look. If you cannot find it, ask me. Just be active now. Come forth. Talk to me. Let us build a great ministry for the Lord. Let us build the societies of the rose, the assemblies of love and righteousness, the powerhouses of the Lord. Let us build them in the nations and not only in the US or in Europe, but everywhere in Australia, in Africa, in Asia, in every country and on every continent. So let us step forward in the power and the glory of the Father and His only begotten Son, Jesus Christ. Thank you. Thank you that you have listened to this topic and I hope you have understood about tithing versus sharing resources. And I hope I will see you again tomorrow for the next topic. Have a blessed day. Maranatha.